it shot at Zedek. One of the places in um, the children's ward that we visit is the dialysis unit. They have a high number of Palestinian children that have to have constant dialysis because of intermarrying. And so most of the children that you see here are Palestinian. And so, but they, they never discriminate when they come to, their, to the hospital in Jerusalem. They take care of the children, they minister to the children, and they help the children. The next slide is when we go to the Ethiopian Absorption Center. This is when the Ethiopians come back into Israel. There's been great aliyah. Aliyah in Hebrew means going up. Anywhere that you are in the world to go to Jerusalem, you have to go up. And so many of them are coming back into the land. These are Ethiopian Jews. And they bring them to an absorption center to absorb them into the culture. Many of these Ethiopians do not know what it is to go to the grocery store. They do not know what it is to have running water. They do not know what it is to flush a toilet. So they're taken to an, uh, the, an absorption center, and they're trained. And as the time goes on, we've gone into what they call their computer lab, where they finally have adult Ethiopian men and women sitting behind a computer that just a few months before would have never known what one was. And so we always bring suitcases full of toys and school supplies to the children in the Ethiopian Absorption Center. So if you would like to give in any way tonight, I'm going to ask Elder Denise if you just want to uh, put this box down there. And when we receive the offering tonight, we'll pass both that and the trough for the offering this evening. So whatever, if, and there's no pressure, I'm, I, I just want to do what the Lord put on my heart tonight, is to give you an opportunity to give into the land of Israel. How many of you know Jesus is a Jew? He said, when you've done it unto the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. He was talking about the Jewish people. And so we would be happy to bring into the land whatever it is that God would lay upon your heart so at this time, I'm going to invite Elder Denise Smith. She is going to come and receive the offering at this time. Thank you, Pastor Jan. <clears throat> I have a scripture that I want to read for the offering this evening. How many of you know that uh, as we bring our gifts into the house of the Lord, it is a form of worship. We are worshiping him with our offering, with our substance. And uh, I'm reading this from the Amplified Bible. It just really hits it home. It says here, Proverbs 11, 24, 25. There is the one who generously scatters abroad and yet increases all the more. You know, it's something we find so hard to understand. As we sow, we increase. This is totally opposite to the world system. The world system says that we're to hang on to everything that we can, but in God's economy, as we sow generously, as we scatter abroad, and you know, it's interesting that um, the Lord laid this scripture on my heart because as we scatter abroad, we can look at Israel as being abroad, so we're scattering abroad tonight, uh, and yet increases all the more, and there is the one who withholds what is justly due, but it results only in want and poverty. The generous man is a source of blessing. How many of you want to be a source of blessing? I love to be a source of blessing to other people. It is truly more blessed to give than it is to receive. Amen? And so the generous man is a source of blessing and shall be prosperous and enriched. And he who waters will himself be watered reaping the generosity he has sown. How many of you know we cannot outgive God? So as we sow this evening, some of the, the uh, money is uh, converted into uh, food carts. And when there are needy, needy people in the community, uh, we can give them food cards and uh, as a way of ministering to the poor in our own community. Also, some of the finances are so that we can continue to bring in speakers like Mary Audrey and Cindy Williams. So 
tonight, if you need an envelope, if you are writing a check and you would like a receipt, write it out to Zion Christian Church and put your um, name and address and, and your postal code. Or uh, if you want to use an envelope and you're using cash, make sure you complete the envelope and we will be able to issue you a tax receipt from this house. Does anyone need an envelope this evening? Anybody? Are we all good? Well, let's just get ready to give on to the Lord because really we're, we're bringing our offering on to him. And he, in turn, will turn around. We don't, we don't give to get, but we cannot outgive God. How many of you know that? I've got so many testimonies in my own family, in my own life, of how the Lord has exceedingly, abundantly blessed us as we have sown, as we've given into Israel, as we've sown offerings and alms. We cannot outgive him. So let's pray to tonight and trust that he will multiply your seed in Jesus name. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for every seed. Lord, you look at the heart of the giver. And Lord, we are cheerful givers tonight. And Lord, we are giving, Lord God, and to so that your kingdom can be established, Lord, in this community and throughout the world. I ask you, Father, in Jesus name, to bless every giver and to bless every gift in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So receive the offering. Yes. Tonight we are going to have a worship and prayer night. I, how many of you know that it's good to pray? Not only are we going to be praying for our community, praying for the upcoming meetings, we're going to pray for one another. So if we have needs tonight, that we can be anointed with oil and pray for one another. So but while we are receiving the offering tonight, um, I just want to open the service with a prayer as the worship team comes. And so, Father, we thank you. Father, I know that your desire is to meet with us face to face. Lord, we desire to have an, an encounter tonight. Your presence is already in this place. It's a tangible thing, Lord. And so we thank you for your presence even now. And as we enter into worship, we want to see the king high and lifted up. And that your train would fill the temple, oh God. Fill our hearts, Lord. Encourage every person in this place tonight. Father, I pray that weariness, Lord, would be gone. I pray that strength would come into bodies tonight, oh God. Father, I pray for those that are sick in body and are not feeling like they should, Lord. We are asking, God, that your healing power, the virtue of the Holy Spirit, would come upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. You're welcome here. You're welcome here. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everyone said, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Amen and amen. You know, I uh, was reading today um, on my iPhone, actually. I have the Bible app on there. And I've been fasting a few things. And so I had my Bible out today reading. And I was in Acts where Paul and Silas were in prison. And I know you all know the story. They were beaten and they were thrown in prison, into the inner prison. And it was midnight, the darkest hour. And yet, they had enough in them to praise. Because they knew that praise was a weapon. Now, the other thing I was thinking about today was my granddaughter, and it's funny, but I had, I had heard this before she even said it to me, that today was positivity day. I don't know if anybody heard that or not in Chatham, Kent. And she had met Captain Positive at the school. He had come and she had her picture taken with him. And I thought to myself, you know, I don't know Captain Positive. <laughs> I really don't believe in that power of positive thinking that people talk about. But I know what I do believe in and that's faith. 
See, the world calls it positive thinking. We call it faith. Amen? God is a good God. He's a God that is full of mercy, and he's full of love for you. So we're going to rise right now, and we're going to enter into a time of praise and worship because he's a good God. Amen? Amen. Do you believe that tonight, that he's a good God? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Yeah. People from every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you.
a good God. You're such a good God. You're such a good God. Oh, you're such a good God. You're such a good God. Oh, yeah. My heart proclaims you're such a good God. You're such a good God. Yeah, God. Thank you, Lord. Your love is devoted Like a ring of solid gold Like a vow that is tested Like a covenant of old Your love is enduring Through the winter rain and beyond the horizon with mercy for today faithful you have been and faithful you will be you pledge yourself to me and that's why i sing your praise will ever be on my lips ever be on my lips your praise will ever be 
Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips. Oh, yeah. Ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be on my lips. Ever be on my lips, your praise will ever be. Angels and saints, we sing worthy are you, Lord. You will be praised. You will be praised. Angels and saints, we sing worthy oh, yeah. You will be praised. Oh, yeah.
You're so worthy. You're so worthy. Oh, you're Lord. Yeah. Worthy are you, Lord. Yeah. Worthy are you, Lord. Yeah. Worthy are you, Lord. Yeah. There is nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I have tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Yeah, God. Oh, yeah. Your presence, Lord, there's nothing worth more. Oh, yeah. There is nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. Yeah. Taste it. I have tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence,
come away with me. Come away with me. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Here come. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we seek you, Lord. Seek you, Lord. For I seek you. Oh, 
we sit at your feet mm. Let's just wait on him for a few minutes. If you have anything and you want to share what God has given you, please come forward and we'll, we want to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. We wait on you, oh God. We wait on you, oh God. Oh, we wait on you. Hallelujah. Let's wait on him. I'm having a hard time putting it into words. But tonight I feel such a depth of his love for you. His love is so deep. My love for you, my daughters, is so deep. There is nothing that can separate you from, from me. There is no situation. There is no trouble. There is no trial. There is no sin that can separate you from me. For my love for you is everlasting. My love for you is deep deeper than you could ever imagine. It is deeper than any pit you will ever be in. My love for you transcends. Yes. It transcends everything that you have ever gone through, that you are going through right now, and that you will go through. My love for you, my daughters, <laughs> is everlasting. I want you to know tonight that nothing can separate you from me. Though you may be weary, though you may be confused, though you may be angry, though you may be experiencing troubles, I say to you tonight, my daughters, open your heart to me. For I want to pour in this deep love that I have. Will you open your heart to me, says the Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. We open our hearts. We open our hearts to you tonight, Lord. Every broken place every place where you may be carrying guilt, every place of shame. We open our hearts to you tonight, Holy Spirit. We say, have your way. Change us and rearrange us. Heal the brokenness, Lord. Heal the wounds, oh God. In this house tonight, we open our hearts. Put your hand on your heart and say, I open my heart. I open my heart. When you walk into the room, everything 
changes. Darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring. And when you walk into the room, every heart starts burning. And nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you. We worship you. When you walk into the room, everything changes. Darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring. And when you walk into the room, Every heart starts burning, and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you. Yes. Oh, yeah. we worship you. Yeah. We We 
will love you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Jesus, yeah. We love you, Lord. Yeah. We love you, Lord, more than anything. We love you, Lord, more than anything else. Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, more than anything. We love you, Lord. Jesus, yeah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord, yeah. We love you, Lord. Jesus, yeah. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Jesus, and he says, I love you, my child. I love you, my child. I love you, my child. Oh, yeah. And my daughter, I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, listen, my daughter. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're not unlovable. Listen, my daughter, I love you, I love you, I love you, you're not unlovable, oh, and we love you, and we'll never stop, we can't live. Without you, Jesus, we love you, and we can't get enough, all this is for you, Jesus, we love you, yeah. and we'll never stop, can't live without you, Jesus, and we love you, yeah, and we can't get enough, all this is for you, Jesus, it's all for you, Lord. Jesus, oh, yeah. it's all for you, Lord. Jesus, oh, yeah. Jesus, it's all for you. It's all for you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, oh, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, oh, yeah. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, your name is Jesus, thank you, Lord. 
thank you that you sing over us tonight, that you love us. You love us uniquely. We thank you, Lord. As you sing over us tonight, we hear your voice. The depths of your love. Thank you tonight for that love, oh Lord. Oh God, we're forever grateful. We're forever grateful for your loving kindness, for your mercies, Lord. And Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit would be with us. God, that a spirit of even intercession Oh, God, would come upon us tonight as we pray. We thank you that you hear the cries of your daughters. And we give you all the thanks. And we give you all the praise. We know that you hear us when we pray, Lord. <laughs> so we come with an expectation. We come believing, oh God, that you hear us and that you will answer. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We honor you tonight. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Let's all say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just rejoice in you tonight, Lord. We just thank you for all you're doing. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies, God. We're grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful, Lord. We thank you. We just thank you, Lord. Father, raise our expectations tonight. Raise our expectations tonight that you're going to do something wonderful, something marvelous in our midst, oh God. Let's just begin to sing in the Spirit. Let's just sing and worship him for a minute in the spirit.
Thank you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Yes, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Yes, you're worthy. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness tonight, Lord. And now, Father, I pray, God, that you would be with us as we gather together to pray. Father, let our prayers be full of faith, with great expectation of the great things that you want to do in this region. God, there's so many women out there that are broken and that are hurting that they need a touch from you. So, Father, may we pray and believe, oh God, that you will bring them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're just going to gather in groups in this atmosphere. Each one of the coalition are going to go two by two in groups. And so if the coalition can come up to the front and um, the ladies can just gather with you or you can go to the women and gather with the women. Let's just spend some time in prayer. I'm going to have a slide up for you that you can refer to. And if you can please put up the slide. It's the mission statement for, for the unbridled meetings, not just Chatham-Kent, but this is what Unbridled is all about. In the mission statement, I wanted to put up so that we would be able to see it on the screen tonight, so that we would be able to pray into what Mary Audrey wrote down as the vision for Unbridled. And so that we can not only um, come to prayer, but we can come with a vision we can, we can hit the bullseye. We can, we can hit the target. So as we're gathering into groups, she'll put the slide up, and then we can look at it before we go into prayer. So let's just begin to gather in groups, okay? <laughs> 